this lecture we will make the base physics in the main class so let's get main class so let's get into it so firstly in the previous lecture that was basically before making this character and polygon we had worked in the smallest stuff in this main class that was just importing some of the important png files into our pygame so now we'll make use of this full sprite that is if you see in these images and you just scroll downward and see this full sprite then you have images that is here of a peak so let me get the peak out of this sprite so for that what you're gonna do is first we'll say rectangle that is to crop this the full sprite inside this full sprite we'll just crop one of these peak so let me say i'll just crop this one so in this main go to main and you have pygame dot rect function in order to create a rectangle and that would be 181 and uh, I'll say 1050 it is the point and similarly I'll say 50 should be the width and 50 should be the height so after that we're gonna have this cropped image so let me say it is a cropped and cropped will be fully sprite that is this image that we load and after that just get the soft surface that is the part or slice from this full sprite and that should be given as a rect because we want the rectangular part or that image with this height and width and similarly we'll just take that and copy it and just store it in crop so after that we're gonna have this big image that is the big image and that would be pygame dot transform dot scale so this is the way to scale so first what are you gonna so firstly this scale will take the surface parameter and height and width and destination surface is none here so what you're gonna do next is just have a surface and surface will be obviously the crop here after that just give the height and width in the tuple format so let me say 30 and 30 so you can work with this number if you want the big big image you can just increase this value but 30 would be normal so after that what you're going to have is just create the new variable is a clock and assign the clock as a pygame dot time and dot clock so we have now clock and i'll say running that is a new variable and that should be true and this will be used in our main loop so now what you're going to do is we'll just write base for our uh, base of physics basically so let me write the base of physics now some of the variables that will be required for our physics in the game to work with the physics in the game basically so after that what you're going to have first is let me say space and pm that is our pi monk and in this pm dot space will get you space here and just let the have the gravity in this space so this gravity function will just have this gravity and gravity will always be in the y and gravity won't be in this left and right direction so in the x it will be o and the, in the case of y let me say 0, 0.0 and in this case of y it would be 700 Point o. so this will be the gravity similarly we'll have the peak here this is to store our peaks and this will be the empty list now and i'll say birds and this will also be empty for now and there will be the bulls and the bulls will be empty similarly uh, what we're gonna have next is polygons so this is polys so polys is for polygons and beam obviously we'll have the beams and similarly we have uh, let me say we have columns columns is also here limited list and poly points that are the polygon points so poly points will be empty again and ball number let me say ball number and ball number is initially o and let me make a poly dictionary here that is the containing the polygon that will be the maintained in the dictionary so after that let me say mouse distance so this is basically when you just click this mouse that is the drag distance from the mouse so that will be here o for now and similarly we'll have a rope length so i'll say rope length 
and rope length let me give a 90 here and angle would be initially O and yux mouse is the value that is when you just uh, have this uh, drag of this mouse then it will be the yux distance in the mouse basically when you just get that sling to just stretched then that will be the yux mouse that is a mouse in x position similarly we'll have a y and y mouse and it will be initially o and similarly uh, this i've already said it this is the direction of a mouse in x and y so let me say count will be o now and mouse so this count will be used in our main loop in order to count the birds or remaining words when you hit or projected the particular bird so after that we'll say if a mouse is pressed or not here so these are all the best variable so mouse press will be first and t1 will be o so i'll tell you what is t1 in the next lecture so after that we'll have now something that is tick to meet next circle to tick to next circle let me say tick to next circle is 10 so this will be the time when the one bird will have the transition from another bird so let me just define some of the color attribute now and that will be red is uh, 255 o and o blue will have the attribute is o255 o that is for rgb so it would be 255 here and similarly we'll have now black so black will be in this tuple o comma o comma o and last will be white so white will be 255 255 and 255 so you can just google it but we have just used here are some standard rgb value so this part is for r and second part is for g and third part is for blue so similarly what you're going to do next is we'll say sling x so what this sling x is basically so let me just complete with my statement first here so sling x and y will be let me say 135 and 450 450 let me show 450 so what this sling is basically when you just have this catapult or you can sling sling will be something like this when you just uh, stretch it and just you hit it so instead of drawing let me show you from the figure here so you can go to this sling.png and when you stretch basically so before that stretching the position will be sling x and sling y now let's create that uh, sling 2 x and sling 2 y and that will be after we stretch that catapult so let me say that is sling and 2 x and similarly sling 2 y that will be sling 2 first let me say 2 and y now that is for x and y coordinate so that would be 160 after you stressed and if you see here this y direction will be constant because the y won't be changed only the x will be changed here so after that what we're going to do is we'll say score is zero so we'll not that need this score so we'll be implemented this score in the further lectures but just uh, put here as a score equal zero so that we couldn't forget in the later lecture so after that we'll say game state so now this is important so it will be have the initially a game state at zero and board path this is to just have the track of this uh, bird state so we'll say bird path is a list and empty list so counter is zero here and now let me just make a special and now say is restart counter so at first we'll say restart counter would be false and this all we implemented in the while loop this is basically our main loop so i'll say bonus and this is basically for e score again so e score once will be true here so just forget this two statement here that is e score and bonus e score once will not talk about it now but it will have more importance in the upcoming lectures and i'll tell you where this will be used basically so for now we'll say next that will be the bold front and let's initialize that bold front now it will be bold front and you know how to initialize the front that is from this spy game front and just call sys front here and sys font will get the name 
that is the name of the font and size and if you have any bold to be enable learner so let me say first that is the name will be Arial and it will be 30 size and similarly the bold will be true here and after that let me just copy it again and let me just paste it uh, twice here and let me make a change here so after this bold fund i'll say two for this and let me say three and after this aerial that is size 30 let me make it would be something like 40 and 50 so it would be okay i'll instead of 30 i'll say 20 here and it would be 30 and it would be 50. okay now we'll say well equal to false here now we have basically assigned all our base physics here so base physics will be something that will use all of these that is the list and a variable while dealing with the physics and we'll also use this sling variable that is the basically position or whether you stressed or whether you are in the static position with that sling and obviously you have some of the list that is for the score and similarly this bold fund so you would be wondering about why the instructor is not really running the game because we have to cover all the operations uh, on this physics in the next upcoming lectures and then we can run our basic layout of the game so see you in the next <laughs>